Hey Aries, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aries. As at now, please. You thinking about Aries. Ooh, okay. We got the three. Clarify card one, please. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Clarify card one, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If your cards are being a bit of a pain today. <laughs> Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. Clarify card number two. So please keep that in mind. You may not be the only one. Well, there is a flipper. I thought there was. Thinking about Aries right now. Yeah. Yeah, you may not be the only one thinking about Aries right now, so please do keep that in mind. Clarify card three, please. Will. Three more cards for the love energy coming towards Aries, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what these decks are. Okay. Clarify one in row two, please. Ooh. Hope you're all doing well, having a good day and taking care of yourselves. Clarify card two, please, in row two. Don't forget to spoil yourself occasionally. Card three, please. Because you're definitely someone who deserves to be spoiled. <laughs> Oh dear, choke. It's not good. Okay, let's begin. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So their belief systems when it comes to love. Eight of Pentacles, put in the hard work. And the chariot, and you'll charge forward triumphantly. So put in the hard work, put in the work towards a relating... When it comes to love, you've got to put the effort in, put the work in. <coughs> and you should be char should charge forward triumphantly, but I'm hearing it could go either way. Because we've got this way and that way, and that's standing out to me. Yeah, even if you put in the hard work, things could still go either way. Okay, well that's a realistic approach realistic belief system because yeah okay oh release your ex the time has come to clear your energy okay so this could be an ex oh eight of cups and the moon card <coughs> i think they're afraid that you've walked away for good they believe if you put the work in this could move forward but mm, they're thinking that since they've become your ex, you've walked away and they're afraid of that. You won't be emotionally satisfied with the connection anymore. <clears throat> Alright. I'm having trouble picking up cards today. What the go is... Forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. So I think they want to release the past and heal what happened in the past. And bring more love into the present with you. Knight of Pentacles, which is stable action. Two of Wands. They're not sure. 
sure how to do that though, at a crossroads. The magician, having all the tools, and the queen of cups. So they want to heal this situation. They want to take actions of stability, stable action towards healing this, but they're not really sure. Well, they're at a crossroads of whether this is going to manifest into the beautiful love that they're hoping for with you. Best love in the deck. All queens are loving. She's the queen of love. <clears throat> Yeah, they don't know, even if they do, mm. those actions, they don't know which way it's going to work out, like I said. Forgiveness, yeah, they definitely want forgiveness from you. The Justice card and the High Priestess. They want to balance this out with you. They want forgiveness and to balance the scales between you two. But again, they don't know what to say to make that happen. So it's not saying anything. <clears throat> keeping your mouth closed, keeping secrets. Trusting your intuition. Or instincts. <clears throat> Just going to have to play it by ear, I'm hearing. Whether you're going to accept their forgiveness here and things will balance out. Balance out this situation. But it's, uh, well, it's unknown. They don't have the answer as to whether this is going to balance out or not if they get your forgiveness or even if you will forgive them. Impasse. It's my Gandalf card in the way that it's a wrong way. Go back. Thy, thy shall not pass. <clears throat> or you shall not pass. Um, yeah, it's a wrong way. Go back. Different. Go a different way. In pass. The Four of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. Wow. So, Stability. Passionate stability, actions of stability, and the cup of love, or the overflowing of love. <sighs> they know they went the wrong way when they, as far as offering something stable and loving towards you, they know they went the wrong, they did it the wrong way. They know they did it the wrong way. They also have a feeling that maybe they, that you won't let them in again to show them that love and stability. They think it's, yeah, you're not going to let them pass. <laughs> Perfection. Oh, that's how they see you. It's perfect. Nobody's, com nobody's perfect, but... We're all perfect just the way we are. And the Seven of Pentacles. Investing in you. Yeah, they see you as perfection and they want to invest in you. That's all I'm getting from that. They see you as perfection. Okay. What else? Can you tell us about this love energy coming towards Aries, please? Okay. Let's see, we have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Were they a runner? Did they listen to their ego and fear intimacy too much before? Or else they're afraid you're going to run away from them. And seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Ooh. Well, I'm hearing this is someone that was a runner and they were quite seductive. 
very flirty, flirty. There was a major attraction between you, but it was, yeah, the hooking up and temptation of third party interference was the problem. <clears throat> yeah. This could be what they want that forgiveness for. And that's why they don't know whether you, you're going to forgive them. And that's why they feel it's an impasse, that you'll never be committed to them or show them that love again. <clears throat> Perhaps they even think it, well, if they're still in that energy, it, they think it would be perfect if you in, um, invested in them again. They can manifest your beautiful love back again. <laughs> oh, got the hiccups. Sorry. All right, what would this love energy like to say to Aries, please? Okay. We have... <clears throat> I regret what I did to you. Yeah, I think they did. They do regret it. Because they want to... Heal the situation and move forward. And we've got, I can't do this anymore. I don't think they can handle not having you around anymore. They realise that, they, you know, they acted foolishly with someone who was what they were, exactly what they were looking for. And they played the fool, played the, played a, played the player. Uh, yeah, they can't handle the regret they feel. They can't handle it anymore. They want your forgiveness. They really want your forgiveness for what they've done. But, you know, that's up to you. And, by the way, if you do forgive them, it doesn't mean you have to get back with them. If they can honestly show that they are sorry for what they did, you can accept their apology and forgive them and still move on you don't have to get back with them it's all your freedom of choice and depends how long you want to make them suffer <laughs> all right <laughs> so you might want to let them stew in it for a bit longer it's up to you like i don't know what the but if it was third party and all that it's runner yeah, listening to ego and flirting with it. Yeah, no, nah, I can understand. All right, well, that's your reading, Aries. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment if you can. And thanks for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Um, it is just the dominant energy that's coming through right now. So, yeah, they're really stressed about what they did. Okay, well, all the best. Take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.